What's good guys, Just Prince TV here, Nasty Niles, Magic 2, let's get into it. Yeah, test, test, yeah, I might spend a week, I might... Been a week at the Magic Castle, presidential suite made of brass and alabaster. You could cast a spell, just backfires. They All right, now this album is his second album, and it's in the same vein as Illmatic and Magic One. So this is part two to Magic, and he's keeping that format of nine to ten songs on here, and only two features is on this album. Much like Illmatic, Illmatic only had one feature from A Z. Right, and this magic too is for all those people that say he can't flow Illmatic style, okay? Because he got different layers. You got it was written Nas, uh, Magic Nas, Illmatic Nas, but they're almost in the same vein when we talk about Illmatic and Magic. So here's the thing: the lyrics is on point. That's one of the biggest pros. Only Nas could rap over beats that probably some people don't approve of. But his lyrics and his voice, his flow, could overpower beats, all right? To a point, all you're listening to is the lyrics. That's when you know you got a true artist, a true MC. Nas is the greatest MC to ever pick up a mic. He's an MC. He's the definition of rap. He could rap slow, fast, um, switch up the his voice, his tone. He could do anything. Storytell. He could hardcore. He could do... Um, songs for the club. He could do whatever you want. And this album stays in the vein of being in the streets. This album is a grown man's version of Illmatic, right? But still in that same vein of grimy street tales. And some of the beats, even when the switch flows as he's um, rapping, like within the chorus, you could sense, you feel. Um, a lot of that in this album, and that's what I like about this album the most, all right, is pretty much what makes Nas Nas, the lyrics. Now, here's the cons. Some of you criticize Nas for having bad beat selection, and if you listen to this album, this may be one of those albums that give you that same feel. So... If you don't think this album is a classic or you think it's close to a classic, you're probably not going to give it that extra nod because of the beats. All right. And that's OK, because the lyrics overpower the beats. And once you start listening to his lyrics, you're going to end up liking the beats. It just goes with the flow. Now, 21 Savage is guest starring on here. Trash. You should be lucky that you're dealing and having a song with Nas. Luckily, you came to your senses because you know you didn't want to beef with Nas. That rap battle would have been over in 10 seconds, okay? He don't even have to give you a full ether. He would gave you a dose of ether, you know, just like a, a pin drop. But the second feature on here <laughs> is by 50 Cent, okay? Another Queens native. It's, got, it's good to see two guys come together from Queens that's not fighting with each other, like how they were doing in the early 2000s. But it was more like on a competing level. But now they come together, they bring in that gritty feel, and I love it, you know. And it's good to see 50 Cent back on the mic again. Here's the thing about this album. It's going to compete against Benny the Bush or Gazelda. It's going to compete against Conway the Machine that's still in heavy rotation. It's going to compete against Dave East, okay. Really, Chuck, though, uh, he's great. He's representing Queens, too, but he also represents Harlem. And Dave East is really nice with it, man. He's a new generation rapper. Um, I'm loving the new album that he got because it's um, it's basically like uh, his best work, you know. So anyway, that's all the hip hop albums that you're gonna get right now, and that gives us the feel that hip hop is no longer on life support. You got a guy like Nas who could rap for any generation, and he's not the youngest guy in the hip hop world. But yet, he could still deliver, unlike any other artist. 
Three and a half years, six albums now. From Lost Tapes to King's Diseases to Magic. This guy can drop a hot album in a month if he wanted to. Because it's all in the same vein of he shoots, he hits his target, he never miss. That's what you get when you listen to a Nas album. You're getting street education, you're getting hoodnomics. You're getting all of that. Half man, half amazing. I'm like every race combining one man, like a 99 summer jam. Nasty Nas, man. Nas Escobar. Now you got Magic Nas, and you got Nas King's Disease style. Greatest MC of all time. Great album. Four stars out of five. You're going to love it too. I'm out. Peace.